آزادی بیان یعنی لون زیو فری سپیچ گلوبلی and you've looked a lot um, globally don't you think this model is a, 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 a rare and endangered species uh, well it's certainly true that um, you know global services have grown over the last sort of 20 years and that most of the new services in that time don't have the model of impartiality. Well, you're thinking of who, for well, example? So, for example, Al Jazeera mm. uh, absolutely says it represents uh, the south to the north and represents the Arab street. It's quite clear that it is representing certain constituencies more strongly than others. Although, although its journalism often looks quite like BBC World. Well, it, no, it does. Its journalism it has some fantastic journalism on it, but it is very open that it is on the side of the street and that it is on the side of the south against the north and the west. Russia Today is absolutely set up by the Kremlin to express a Russian perspective. Press TV expresses an Iranian perspective. France 24 was absolutely set up by Chirac so that, that there could be a French voice in the global conversation and Although so on Although, again, well. in practice, it looks pretty much like BBC World with a slight French accent. Uh, well, I, 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 I'm not entirely convinced of that. I think okay. it's rather too much talk and not enough reporting for my taste. But, but nevertheless, well, it's, it's not... Well, French, after all. Indeed, indeed. But it's not... I agree, it's not obviously politi hugely politically skewed, but I think it does represent, uh, if you like, national um, uh, positions to a greater extent mm. than the BBC, you know, sets out to do. People could argue to the extent to which the BBC does or doesn't live up to its aspirations, but the BBC attempts to have a genuinely neutral global position rather than a national position. Mm. Uh, and these other new services... Um, absolutely are very open about having a national position. And now we're seeing an enormous expansion by the Chinese with CCTV and Xinhua, I think $7 billion of investment in their international broadcasting and outreach. Um, and we're just beginning, I think, to feel the, the impact of that. And of course, CCTV and the Chinese will have a very different set of editorial values mm -hmm. from Western news organizations. So for most of the last um, century, if you like, the Western model of journalism, which includes impartiality and objectivity, has been dominant. But actually, the Asian values now, if, whatever that phrase means, quote, unquote, quote. exactly, are, start, are on the rise. So you know, if, you, if you work for CCTV, you're less interested in human rights. You're less interested about holding power to account. You're more interested in the values behind social harmony and, and, and so on. It's a rather different perspective and a rather different set of, of drivers behind the journalism. So p from the point of view of a sort of, if I can put it this way, a classic BBC person, um, doesn't one feel somewhat in the defensive? I mean, you have fragmentation, you have uh, money speaking, the rich being able to speak more loudly, also in the United States. You have increasingly partisan media in many places. You have the national media you're talking about. And you have the vast preponderance of often ungrounded opinions over fact-based journalism. Isn't that a rather depressing picture? Well, it's a complex picture, but I actually think that, that organizations like the BBC should, should compete with confidence in that environment. Um, because, as I said before, with this great complex picture and this, this tsunami of information and data and opinion and all the rest of it, an organization which is respected globally for the quality of its programming, which has a very clear set of values around fairness, and impartiality, objectivity, which tries to establish a foundation of evidence and fact on which opinion can be based, which does so fairly and openly, I think should be um, valued as highly as ever. And I think the BBC should set out to compete in this new environment with some confidence about its values.